Hi, I'm Marley Matlin. I'm thrilled to have the distinct honor of welcoming you to the 50th Biennial National Association of the Deaf NAD Conference in Philadelphia. This month, we celebrate many milestones, including the 130th anniversary of the NAD and the 20th anniversary of the ADA. You may know a few things about me, but I want to share an important fact that you probably won't find on Wikipedia or by doing a Google search. I am a proud member of the NAD. Okay, that's probably going to be on Wikipedia tomorrow. I'm also honored to receive the NAD Media Advocacy Award in recognition of my efforts to improve captioning access on the internet for all deaf and hard of hearing Americans. And I say my, but I actually mean our efforts because I couldn't have done it without the support of so many individuals. Regardless, I cherish this recognition of my efforts and let me restate that I will not feel satisfied until all media content on the internet is captioned. I keep making noise on Twitter, in interviews, and wherever I go, and I will do that until we achieve our goal. As you all know, the NAD has been a strong leader in the campaign to improve captioning access. Last November, I was thrilled to testify on behalf of the NAD at a hearing at Gallaudet University hosted by the FCC and focused on access to the internet and broadband services. I also joined the NAD on Capitol Hill to advocate for passage of the 21st Century Communications and Video Accessibility Act, also known as H.R. 3101. This legislation, along with a similar bill introduced in the Senate, S3304, will ensure that television programs already captioned will also be captioned when they're shown on the internet, on handheld mobile TVs, smartphones, and other devices we have today and in the future. This time we must ensure that the future will not stop the progress we are making today. Last November wasn't my first time on Capitol Hill, and in fact, in 1990, I testified before Congress to support a new law to require televisions to decode and display closed captioning technology. Remember, TV manufacturers resisted efforts to require equal access for millions of Americans who are deaf or hard of hearing. But with our hard work and determination, we were successful in getting TV decoder law passed. And six years later, another law was passed, this time requiring TV programs to be captioned. For so many of us who for so long were left out of mainstream TV, we were finally able to get the equal access we deserve. Now, as I said, though the future is here and technology has rapidly evolved, we are back to square one. And that's because no one is stepping up to voluntarily close caption programs that are already captioned when they migrate to new means of viewing content. Just like back then, we need laws to ensure equal access. Though we are very close, very close to legislation in the form of H.R. 3101 and S.S. 304, they are not yet law. Thank goodness we have a dynamic champion, Representative Ed Markey from Massachusetts, and 50 co-sponsors for H.R. 3101. We also have key senators who support S.3304. When these become law, we will achieve a roadmap to getting captioning on the Internet and on all devices. In 1880, the NAD was founded by deaf and hard of hearing Americans who wanted to mobilize change. They wanted to achieve change through increased awareness and improved accessibility. We know that awareness and accessibility usually go together hand in hand, and to achieve them both, our efforts must be persistent and perpetual. That's why we have the NAD to thank for continuously advocating for our rights to equal access and opportunities. The NAD has been our champion for 130 years, and I have no doubts they will continue for as long as there is inequality. The 50th NAD Biennial Conference is cause for celebration. It is a statement of unity within our community. Every two years, we convene to provide support and recommit ourselves to the NAD so the NAD can continue its advocacy and work on our behalf. Doing this, we celebrate ourselves and our individual and collective accomplishments. Today, I recommit to advocating for captioning access on the internet. 
Captioning is an important civil and human right for all deaf and hard of hearing Americans. I know the NAD is with me and I am with the NAD. From one NAD member to another, you have my wishes for a wonderful, wonderful conference and a wonderful celebration. Thank you.